Benson uh, pretty well, actually. Yeah, you've yeah. Got a very interesting story how you guys first met. Yeah, Ben and I, uh, we go back a long ways. Probably about seven years ago, my very first day in the gym, <laughs> I'm holding the door open, and uh, Ben Henderson walks through, and I say, hey, what's up, man? I'm Brendan Shaw. He's like, oh, nice to meet you, Ben. I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's only been there about a week. It was my first day. And uh, we just kind of hit it off, started talking. I go, oh, what, what's your goal, man? He goes, get, get to the UFC. What's yours, UFC? I don't see him for about six years later. We're both in UFC doing pretty well. Beautiful story. All right, listen, let's talk about the fight itself, though. Um, a very back-and-forth exchange, a split-decision victory for Benson Henderson. You and I were talking about it. It could have gone – it really could have gone either way. I had it even going into the fifth. The fifth round, I thought – one of the two, Gilbert or Ben, would kind of be the deciding factor, and neither one of them really stood out. So I could see the decision going either way. Uh, if you looked at the total strikes landed, I think Benson Henderson outstruck Gilbert Melendez, maybe almost by a two-to-one margin, and maybe that is kind of where the, the, the fight was won. Although, in terms of octagon control, I, I tend to give it to Gil. Yeah, I agree. Octagon control, power shots landed, I give to Gil. Ben's pace is set high, so those total strikes landed are going to be in his favor. Usually, every Every fight except for Frankie Edgar. So Gil's been doing this for years. He's been at the top of his game for however long. He, he's fought the who's who at 155. Strike Force couldn't find a 50 fighter beat this guy. <laughs> and this is why the UFC acquired Strike Force for these mega fights. And you can see here, uh, Gil deserves to be there. Yeah. He is a true champion. He's a four time world champion of other organizations. Crazy. Let's talk very quickly, very, very quickly about what could be next for the champion Benson Henderson. Maybe a couple fights away from, from cleaning out the lightweight division. As crazy as that sounds. Crazy. Division stacked. Yes. I like the winner of Aldo Pettis. They're, they're fighting at 145. Whoever wins that, Aldo already said he's going to come up to 55. Pettis is a natural 55er. Yeah. I think it'd be a great fight. You know, I think win or lose, I think Pettis might get this crack at, at the champ in Benson Henderson only because the last man to beat uh, Benson Henderson, yeah. how about Anthony Pettis? And obviously the power and the speed will be a problem uh, for Benson there. But uh, another guy that I always throw out there, and he, he seems like the forgotten man in all this, uh, Gray Maynard. My goodness, we, somewhat, somehow we forgot about Bray <laughs> Maynard, an absolute animal at 155. Beast at 55. I, I think he could give Ben a lot of problems. He's in Vegas right now, training his butt off, I'm sure, as usual, and, and just waiting for a shot.